Welcome, welcome. Thank you, everybody, uh, for joining us today. Today, I have uh, another guest, Cody. Yes, I'm excited to be here with you all today. I just really love spending time with each of you, and being able to interact is a really fun experience for me. I really do enjoy being able to be a part of this experience with you guys. So it's kind of fun. Uh, thanks for everybody who's joining us. Uh, welcome. I'm already seeing a lot of comments. I went and grabbed Cody. I always thought, if I'm going to be, uh, you know, talking with all the quilters, um, it's been fun bringing on some of the different employees with some of their different experiences. I think you will love to hear uh, some of Cody's experiences. We'll talk a little bit. His mom's gotten into quilting, I think, fairly recently, yeah, right? She has. Yeah. And, so, uh, she's so that'd got be a full fun. Quilting system now in her house, and I get to go over there and help her out whenever she has questions or concerns. It's usually just a concern that she is afraid to approach something. She's just like, ah, I'm scared to try it. I'm just, and I'm like, oh, you just have to do it. It's, and sometimes it just takes a little bit of just little, coaching little, her into little, doing little, it. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah, just so, that motivation. Yeah, so we'll come back. We'll get to know a little bit more, talk about some of the story. So thanks for joining us. We have a lot of people joining us from all over. Uh, I thought I'd bring up a couple of comments. If you're just joining us now, give us a shout out. Let us know where you're joining from. Um, I have a couple other fun questions. I did talk about my scare yesterday, Cody, was our story. Uh, we were talking about like Christmas horrors was what it was. Um, and I shared the fact that one of our trees started moving and that was because there were spiders are all over it. And that was something that was several years ago, but that was one. My wife, uh, I was watching, rewatching some of this show in her and she was laughing. She's like, yeah, that is definitely why I have an artificial tree is because that was a scary situation. Yeah. So we had spiders. So it's fun. So we would love to hear comments. We had several customer comments as well that talked about their experiences. So let us know where you're coming from. We're going to throw out a couple of things today. I have a question. I'm curious to know, yes. Cody. I'm curious to know what this means for your family or your your uh, your parents also as a tradition. So again, welcome quilters. Welcome from all over the place. Today, day 11, big day, second to last day. Yes. Um, thanks for being with us. Cody just went and saw, I was looking at our giveaways. I'm like, no, 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 we need to do a little bit more. So we up yep. the antes for those that are joining today. But I want to bring up a couple comments. So this is a fun one from uh, uh, Lewis uh, Willingham. And she says, I'm 77 year old, years old, need a QNEEC. I think a lot of you might be in that spot. I would love to have one of these machines. I've been quilting since 97 and made every king size quilt on her home machine starting to finish. And that was with patience. I love that. That's patiently done. Yeah. Please send I need a 15 <laughs> or above. You are in need, especially if you're doing all those. Yeah. Uh, but welcome. Reach out. Thank you for being with us today. Here's one as well, Cody. Uh, if you go ahead and welcome Carol for us. Welcome, Carol. We're excited to have you with us. From Michigan. So welcome. I want to say Johnson. Bajornson. So I want to say welcome. Thank you. Uh, Sinbar Davis. Thank you again for being with us this morning. Good morning from Texas. I hope it's nice and warm. It's been cold here, which is it good. Has. though. I love the cold, though. I love the snow. So <laughs> so uh, my home last night, I was happy to know. So I should have showed the picture. So I think I might have shown you the car stuck in the middle of the road with major drifts. So we have had some snowstorms, which is which is good. Our mountains need it. In fact, I'm hoping to go skiing tomorrow, which will be fun. So we're Cody's a big snowboarder, right? Yep, I am. I'm excited to get out to the mountains also. Taking your kids out there. We're going to still try and make it work. So a lot of stuff. It's fun. So today it was just cold. I did not have to shovel. I did go toss a little bit of salt out. Yeah. My wife would probably want me to push. It's like an inch and a half, but I hope it's melted by the time I get home. So hope you're coming from somewhere. A lot of them, it was warm. Here's one. Uh, Sinbar Davis, you're saying good morning from warm Texas. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, here's Carol Dial uh, is what I want to say. So happy. I just finished my last Christmas quilt. Woo! Yes, oh, on your cutie frame. Carol. On her cutie frame. Yes, that's story. even better. That's so exciting. Oh, way I to go. I that's love a, to hear that That's story. a great story, Carol. Um, just so you know, Carol is using our most, uh, our, our, a new frame we came out this year, and it's the most popular product that we've launched in several years. The cutie tabletop frame. Uh, it can actually be used on different table surfaces. In fact, we always demo it with like one of the fold-up tables you can get uh, from like Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards or wherever you would go. Um, and you can then use your domestic machine. So she just finished her Christmas quilt. I think I'm hoping a couple other views. I know that we saw first couple of days, by the way, Cody, a lot of people were working through their quilts as well. I'm, I'm hoping you've had luck with that. Uh, here's another, we're just going to say reach out to Robin Baruskas. Uh, good luck to everyone. Welcome for being with us. Thanks for being with us today, Robin. Um, here we are. Why don't you go ahead and rock. welcome Linda? Welcome, Linda. Uh, Niemeyer, that's what I, I want to say. say. Yeah. I want to say that. Sorry, it's hard pronouncing some of the names, but we're welcome. To, good morning, and we're happy to have you here. And where's she coming we're, from here? Nebraska. <laughs> welcome, Ooh, that's exciting. From Neba Nebraska, yeah. yeah. I've been to Nebraska once, it was very exciting and be, nice to be out there. Uh, good morning, also, Janice Hel Hel Hegelin. That's good, yeah. I'll, 
and from Michigan. Michigan. Yep. And uh, good morning, Janet Lloyd from New Mexico. That's also very exciting. I've been there a couple times too. Keep on going here. Okay. We're, we're, we're just going to keep we're, going we're through We're welcome yes. some people. Barb Kelly Kuffman and uh, Happy from Pennsylvania. Wonderful. And here, here's another one, Janet Yeager. Thank you, Janet, for commenting. Good morning, Nathan, Grace Company, and all you sewists. Yes. Uh, welcome. Thank you to you. Good morning, uh, Janet Yeager. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, let's do this, Cody. Uh, today, we actually have Justice, who's going to be doing part of our giveaway. Um, he is our manager of operations out back. And so we're going to hear from him a little bit. But before we do that, um, to get us going, um, what I wanted to throw out really quick is a would you rather. Now, I've done a couple of these. I did some talk with like, like an elf, laugh like Santa Claus. I wanted to do a different one today. And I was really curious to see how everybody uh, might respond to this one. And it's an interesting one. It's kind of a general and it happens probably pretty frequently. The question is, would you rather receive just one big gift? or several small gifts. Cody, what would your answer be to that one? I would rather receive one big gift. I often will, even growing up as a kid, always just want one thing. It was usually a snowboard and that's all I really <laughs> wanted. I didn't need a few little things. I just wanted my big gift so I can get out to the mountains and that's what I really just enjoyed. And that's what really I think is fun to receive. Um, that's, that's good, Cody. I, I kind of, you know, I would say the older to get, the more you maybe fall into that category. Yeah. Um, obviously we saw the comment earlier about wanting maybe the 15, that's a pretty big gift. That so, is. so again, as everybody's joining us, that's a question I would be curious to know from you. Would you rather receive one big gift? If you're going to say this, do you know what it is? Would be my question. What is the one big gift that you would like to get? Is there something you've asked for this Christmas? That would be a question. And if it's little gifts, you might have thought about a bunch of little gifts. So I know um, a couple of my children, they they love the surprises. I'm not the biggest guy on a surprise. Like, I I don't know. People can do it. But I'm unfortunately, like, I'm, I'm a hard guy to shop for because I kind of just shop periodically. Like, if I have a need, I kind of just take care of it. Um, so my family, my wife is not always loving that one. So this year, she's like, kind of get whatever. And, and this is good. All the ladies out there be like, oh, I'm not quite sure. A lot of you. Um, this is uh, like, I, I grew up by the way, building cabinets. So I'm, I'm, I've done that with my dad. He had his own business for many years, building custom furniture and woodworking. So I, I've been around tools. His garage is full of tools. Mine, I don't have so many tools and I've worked on cars. I've built cars and had an old 36 Chevy truck, hot rod with yeah. a Corvette engine. Uh, so I'm a pretty handy guy. I change my brakes. I do my, I do, I do all those things. If something needs to be done, I kind of look at it. Here's what I got myself for Christmas though. A cordless drill. Hey, that's great. And everybody's like, you don't already have one? Like literally, yeah. <laughs> like I've been using tools my entire life. No, I did not yeah. have one. That's a small gift. My wife is like, go, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know, like, a great tool. Yeah. Because I'm doing some projects around our yard. So I, yeah. I've got some things planned this year. So ladies, what do you have that are out there? What would be big gift or small gift is the question. And we're going to bring up some of these things. So here's here's Barbara Baroska's one big gift. The cutting system would be great. So Ooh, that maybe is. you're going to give away. <laughs> there's some giveaway things. Maybe be one of those. Here's another big one. Oh, big gift, a long arm machine. Now to yep. go with your cutie. Yes, Ooh. Cindy Dottie. That is a great next step. Up to 19 inches works on those cutie frames. And you can computer automate. Let's see what this one. Jane K says, ah, that depends on the age. That's true. Yep. I would love to be able to give big gifts, especially to younger folk. But now little gifts can brighten a person's day. Love that. Mm, that is that yeah. is very, I love it so in, much. In fact, that makes me think, Jane, what is something, if I were to throw that challenge, what could you do today that would be something small that brightens somebody's day? That would be good. I'm going to take a look at that. Idea. What could I do today? What would be something small that I can do to brighten somebody's day? Um, I think sometimes in life, the best things are those small things. Yeah. Um, so wonderful. Great, great comment, Jane. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate that. Um, and then we just had somebody commenting on my tool. Sounds like my hubby. Yeah, and they're doing that. We have other people still coming. So thank you, Sandra Dancy. Hi from Rutledge, Tennessee. Thank you for being with us. Here we go. Angela Robinson Pertle. Uh, well, big one she'd love is a Kunique 15M or 15 Pro. I would hope that you maybe can get that. We have um, a Sandra... Uh, Stif Stifter is saying that she would prefer to have one big one. Here, here's Linda Christensen. Got my 21, her Cunique 21, three Christmases ago. So it's big. She's enjoying it and learning with it. That's a yes. fun one. Um, by the way, just so everybody knows, I'm not like prefacing this. So I'm glad to hear. I love hearing that story. Yep. You're here with Grace Company. You're, you're talking about some of those big things that you'd love to have. Here's a fun one too. Uh, Kelly uh, Piper. What does she say she would like? She would Cody? like a Cutie Pro quilting frame. 
<clears throat> just like the whole system, it sounds like. Uh, there you go. Yeah. That would be a fun one. Here's another big one. Um, one big gift if it's a long arm and a frame. It's not lots of little tools and threads. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a good comment. Yes, that would be a good uh, So that's from Mary Alice yep. Caffarel. So great comment. So if you can't get something big, how can you get some small things as well? Yep. Um, so I really love that one. So that's a really fun. All right. So here's another question. And then what we're going to do, we'll go bring in justice. We'll do a giveaway. And then we're going to do some live giveaways. As you're joining us, let me just really quickly bring this up. I apologize. I wanted to talk about it. If you're joining us and you're streaming on the Facebook platform or the YouTube Know that we also have a Grace platform, and what I'm showing you right now is our website. If you go to graceframe.com, you'll notice that the 12 days comes up. When you click on the 12 days, I wanted to show you where it takes you and the reason why I would encourage you to go register and sign up uh, on our events page is because once you're in here, you actually have access to the events page and specific things like these videos. And so these are videos that Carla has done other of our ambassadors and they come with free patterns if you haven't already downloaded them i'd go grab these now for next year that way you're not going to have to try to find them carla had a really fun one code where she went and she did the advent calendar she had different thoughts on what you can do to put in each one of those kind of quilts um, and things that let you participate and give yeah. to others and things that you can do um, she also did a tree skirt one now you yeah. might have your tree skirts up already but um, this is another fun one if you wanted a project that you could look at doing but they're available now. So if you're joining us, go log on to graceframe.com, go to the events page. Once you go in here, just to quickly show you, if you go into the actual click on the video, one is you can watch it, but right below it, it has the download. That's how you can have access to the PDF. Download it, share this with a friend. Um, these are a way we're just trying to give back. Carla has a lot of great ideas. And so this is a way to you, for you to access different type of pattern sets. In here, you also have access to the promotions. We had a couple people talking about using their cuties. They're on sale at $6.89. So if you thought that you wanted to help and come up with some solutions that made quilting easier, hey, there is not a better time, Cody, than now to get the cute. Yes. And I know that was something your team had a good time with building and designing, oh, yeah. right? We loved it. It was a very fun project. And we it, the, there was a lot of inspiration behind it. I was able to talk to a customer last year that uh, she was like, oh, I just, I travel a lot and we didn't have any way we could still be able to quilt. And she was trying to come up with some solution, like putting a frame over her husband's chair. And it just was very difficult. And when we were talking about doing this project, I was just like, wow, this is the solution. This is it. You'll be able to do this and make this all work. And so it's just really that inspiration and drive behind it was just that picture. Just it all made sense. It came together really it was a fun project to do. It is. It is good to go. We've uh, loved having that as one of our lineup, by the way. So it's it's a way to convert your domestic machine into a quilter. In fact, we had the comment with a couple people who've gotten that this year. Some people have just finished their Christmas quilts. Um, also on here, we actually have our True Cut blowout going on now. So there's a holiday blowout. What that means is that there are unique items like cutters and rulers and combos that solve your biggest cutting challenges, making cutting easier, safer, more accurate. And right now we have major cells here's one that is a perfect stocking stuffer the electric sharpener if you buy that cody we're including two free rulers as part of that combo so that's an amazing deal amongst other things in fact we're going to be talking briefly about the circle cutter uh but that's that's enough we've had enough of that so let's just kind of come back and let's talk about today's winner so i'm going to bring on oh wait let's do this as we're doing this we're going to hear from justice i yeah. wanted to pose this last question i was talking to my wife i'm like hey what's another great question that comes up at this time of the year that would be great to get some insights on. And that was when, when do you guys put up your Christmas tree and then when do you end up taking it down? So Cody, we'll come back to that in just yeah. a minute, but yeah. as we're watching right now, as we hear what we're going to be giving away and then we'll talk about our lucky winner, think about when do you put your tree up and then when do you take it down? I'm curious to know if there might be a reason why on that one also. So be thinking about that, Cody, okay. we'll come back to you. Uh, here we go. Let me go ahead and we're going to bring justice up to hear a little bit from him about what we're going to give away. And then I think we're going to spice this up maybe just a little bit as well, but here's justice. And we're excited to hear what he has to give away for us today. Hey, thanks, Nathan. Happy 12 days of Christmas, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us to reveal today's winner. My name is justice and I'm the operations manager here at the grace company. I really love my job because of the people and the processes I get to create to get you products. The winner of today's giveaway will get our quilters combo. It has a 45 comfort cutter in it, a set of true grips, and a six and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler to really help you quilt. Now we'll get back to Nathan to announce today's lucky winner. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. There we go. Thank you, Justice. 
So that's a big one. So we, we have this in front of us here. Let's kind of go to our maybe a picture. We can get a little bit of a close up here for everybody. I'm not sure, Cody. Let's, this is yep. so. This is what we got right here. This is the uh, Quilters combo. Um, what is this really, Cody? If you were to talk in in a in a quick snippet, why would somebody feel like wow, I should be excited about the Quilters combo? Quilters combo is great. It comes with a My Comfort cutter, which makes it so you can just get your hand over the blade. You're not having to push extra pressure, bend your wrist. And it comes with our ruler system and the guide system that really just keeps you locked against your ruler so that way you can get perfectly straight lines every time without the effort of trying to force it and keep your blade up against the ruler. It's just very simple, easy to use, and it just makes it so your cutting is a lot easier. It does. Let me let me just throw this out there really quick. Uh, last night, like I think about this stuff way too often, just seeing all the quilters out there. Um, I'm thinking about stories and last night I thought about like, oh, you know what, if I were to help clarify why somebody might want one of the true cut items, I thought about an ad and then there's always what you call like, um, uh, like there's the nemesis on, on process. So when you're cutting, there's the danger that can come up. And we've had a lot of people tell stories about popping up on the ruler and cutting their finger. Right. And yep. we've known that that's happened probably if it's not you, it's a friend. And I thought about an ad that just shows like danger and it's like, don't have danger and then a close-up of our ruler because it has a much thicker lip on it so that it makes it a safer system to use. And so I'm like, oh, that's a great one. The other one is right when you veer to the side and the two drift apart. And I'm like, oh, that's let's do a close-up of, oh, I just messed up and now I'm going to have to recut my fabric. And then we'll do a close-up because the system has a locking tracking guide system. And so really when TrueCut was developed, we didn't want to create just another cutting tool. We wanted to do something that solved the bigger challenges. So this is what we're going to give away, but we're going to up the ante. So what I also want to give away today, let's bring these things out because I know that we're going to give away these other two rulers. Let's show those really quick. If you wouldn't mind here, I'll hold those. Okay. So this is what we're going to add. So it was going to be the quilters combo. I was like, we've done that. I'm like, I want to yeah. do a little bit more. So for this winter, I'm going to do that. We're going to add in these two rulers, which is the three by 18 and the 12 and a half by six and a half. Then I also... Voila, we're going to add this in. So I want to add the circle cutter to the mix. So Cody, do you have a quick bit of insight on the circle cutter? And then we'll announce the winner yep. of this awesome package. The circle cutter is awesome. It's one of the first circle cutters for fabric that I've ever been able to use that kept my fabric down. And so when you're just making your circles or making your cuts, a lot of times I've been used a few other cutters and your fabric starts crinkling and wrinkled. And then your cut at the end, it just doesn't quite line up. This one helps you get that process done a little bit more consistently and makes it a lot easier so your fabric doesn't wrinkle while you're making your cuts and around those corners and those edges that just it's designed to have the platform that holds your fabric down while you're making your cut. So here's what we've got. These are the giveaways and we're going to announce the winner and then stay with us because we're going to choose three additional winners. What I'm going to give to three additional winners is we'll be giving the quilters combo and i'm going to be adding the circle cutter into these as well so that will be coming up so the winner cody that we have today and then let's go look at a couple comments but we do have the winner who've selected how this winner was chosen really quickly what we're doing and tomorrow we have our biggest giveaway of the entire 12 days is happening tomorrow so if you have joined us you'll want to be back we're going to be doing it at 10 o'clock tomorrow i hope you can be here because we've got uh, a, a couple names or a drawing for some things. And then I'm doing some additional gifts on top of that for those that are going to be live streaming. But what we've done is if you've gone and you joined us for the, for this fall festival, if you came and you joined us for the cyber Monday event, or if you've logged in and registered for the 12 days, Cody, those are the names that we're currently using to draw from. And right. so if you have not done that, go and do that so that you'll have a chance to win tomorrow. Um, there are, I'm going to give away, I want to say it's going to be somewhere between $2,500 of different types of goods and gifts. And that might not sound like a lot. Let's say that there could be a frame on that list. Let's say that there could be a gift certificate on that list. Let's say there can be some of the other major combos on that list. So there's a lot of things that we'll be doing tomorrow. Um, some of those will be live for all those joining us, but a couple will be just drawn from those people who have registered. So I just want you to know, go register if you have not. This name and the winner is... And this is from a registrants is who is that? Pamela Hayslip. Pamela Hayslip. I'm going to yes. clap. Yeah. Pamela, oh, that's that a good too. one. Yeah. That is uh, great. We're reaching out yeah. to you, Pamela, because we do have your contact since you were registered. We will contact you to give you the quilters combo. We're adding the two additional rulers, the 12 and a half by six and a half and the three by 18 and the circle cutter as a cutting system for you. And so we're going to be reaching out to you. Those who are still with me right now, please write this down if you have not. It is Melinda, M-E-L-I-N-D-A, Melinda at graceframe.com. 
The reason I want you to do that is we're going to now select Cody three additional winners from those people who are live streaming. So thanks for being with us. We live stream on Facebook. We live stream on YouTube. And we also have the Grace platform. So there's three different places in which people are watching. That's awesome. So thank you for being with us, quilters. Um, we do have some giveaways we're going to be doing here. Um, but what I wanted to quickly do is go back and look at a couple comments. I, I had talked about when do you put your trees up or your trees down, etc. Cody, what's your answer? When do you guys put your tree up? The day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, is when we normally put our tree up. And uh, that's this year, though, it was a little bit different experience. So we put up one tree. And then a week later, we had some friends were like, hey, we got some permits and we're going to go cut down some trees so we can put up another tree. And so then we went and got another tree. And then my kids wanted to pull our other smaller tree out of storage. And so then I set up another tree last week. So this year I did three. But <laughs> so, so three trees, a live yeah. tree, a live tree and then two artificial trees two. and all different times and just spread it all out. And it's been very that's fun. a lot of work fun fun <laughs> fun so again re remember if you're with us really quick note down melinda at graceframe.com that's m-e-l-i-n-d-a as we're going to be doing some of these giveaways coming back uh we're just going to bring, bring up a couple last comments before we do these because i love hearing what your stories are that are out there so carol c thomas says we have bronchitis and have not gotten the tree up yet christmas is coming this uh, you know, this next Sunday oh, for our family, it's your hope that the tree gets up. So I, I hope and we wish you well, Carol. So that is a challenging one because sometimes yeah. illnesses can cause a problem, especially now. Um, here's another one. Diane Stern Hopper uh, up the Saturday after Thanksgiving and down. Oh, wow. January 20th because my birthday oh, yeah. is the 13th as my son is the 20th. Way to go. Yeah. I love that because that's a tough birthday. I have yep. a sister-in-law. Her birthday is on the 2nd of January. <laughs> Uh, that that's an interesting one, right? Because everybody's like the year we're into a new year. Uh, yep. so I, that's a great way to keep and celebrate that. Love that Diane by keeping that tree up to celebrate the two birthdays of yours that fall into January. I'm going to say happy birthday next month. So yep. thank you here. Uh, here's another one. So this one is from Wanda mass usually on black Friday because my grands, my grands are usually with me this year. They didn't come and my tree is still not up. Oh, that one's because they help you do that. Right. My daughter, she puts ours up. I think I might've shared that. Um, my wife has been doing it, but my daughter loves decorating the tree. My wife will do a couple things. She really likes the ribbon process because she knows it wants to look a certain way. Ours is like one of those like model home ones. I'm telling you, it's like, there's always something a little bit nicer and a little bit fancier going on at my home. So I appreciate it. Trust me. I appreciate it because it looks gorgeous. Um, but, oh, it's pretty, it's a good one. So that's, that's what we, ours goes up, uh, usually the Saturday following Thanksgiving. So um, my family, it's tradition on the Friday following. So on Black Friday morning, my wife and her grandmother and her aunts have been hand dipping chocolates, by the way, for years and years and years since she was young. So they go and hand dip it. And yes, I hate get boxes of custom hand dipped chocolates. They look professional. That's way they cool. look professional. So that's kind of what happens. So our tree usually goes up on the Saturday after it does come down sometime the week following Christmas. There is not a specific date. Depends on what's going on. My wife is like, oh, she doesn't want to start into the new year without it being put away. So, uh, and I might not want to do it on New Year's or New Year's Day. So I decide sometime during the week uh, about pulling it down. So that's where they come down. So again, uh, let's just do a couple others. Here's another one from Barbara Hearn. We put our uh, put our trip on Thanksgiving Day as we are away for Christmas. Okay, we take it down the first week in January. Uh, there you go. And that's a fun one. Get to travel. Is, yeah. I hear a lot of people fun. that get travel. That's fun. I yep. That'll be on my bucket list once it's a travel over that weekend somewhere. Here's a tree up. Patty Brown says, put the trip the week after Thanksgiving. Wonderful. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for your comments on that one. Let's go ahead and do our last few live giveaways. So thank All you right. so again. What we're going to do is a giveaway. We're going to kind of kick back over here to our camera here on the side. We're going to give away the quilters combo. And we're going to be adding to that is our circle cutter. The circle cutter, by the way, whenever I demonstrate this, people like Cody, like literally I'll demonstrate <gasps> They kind of gasp because it literally works exactly the way it does. It has this great sled, so it actually pushes fabric down, and it's super slick. Just a quick twist of the, the hand. You can cut out circles from 2 to 12 inches. Normally 40 bucks, by the way. It's also on sale as a stocking stuffer on its own. If you buy it, we're including for free a 3 by 18 ruler. So there's a couple of great gifts on part of those specials. So right now, my last call out before we do this is if you have a chance um, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and uh, take a look at our website. Go to graceframe.com. 
go ahead and take a look at the specials. Right now, there's a lot of really great goods that are discounted. Today, we also are running a 40% off a matte combo. So go look for that special. It's 40% off a matte combo plus free shipping on mats. That does fit under our true cut line. So go there and take a look at that. So there you go. That's going to be my last blip if you haven't. Uh, again, right now, please make sure you have Melinda's name, M-E-L-I-N-D-A. Um, what I want to do with Melinda is I want to go ahead and make sure that you guys can contact her. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll bring up the right camera here. So we're going to go. We get Melinda.com and let's do some winners. Now, Cody, what I'd like to do is we always get a lot of people who bring in comments, all sorts of things, uh, talking about them being nice prizes. They're excited. Uh, one here I love. They just said Grace Company rocks. Thank you very much. Um, you rock, okay, for being here. So let's go ahead and do this. So, Cody, I'm going to go ahead and move through the screen. We're going to end up choosing somebody from Facebook, somebody from the YouTube, and somebody from the Grace platform. Perfect. But what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and find something, and you're going to put your finger out here, and we're going to stop on it. All so right. who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Right who's oh, going to be? That one. Okay, Jean. there we go. <laughs> Gene Feely. Congratulations yes. to Gene. He's like, that one. <laughs> nice stocking stuffers. Gene, you have the stocking stuffers. We're going to, again, get you the quilters combo, which is – so our largest ruler, the six and a half by 24 and a half, the ergonomic cutter, literally the most ergonomic cutter in the entire world. It is the one that literally can remove the stress and the pain from the wrist, the arms and your elbows. Uh, and we have a set of true grips and we have the amazing 360 circuit cutter. So uh, Gene Feely, uh, we're going to move just right up above that. And here we go. This is our winner from the Facebook platform. And congratulations to Tamara Rook. Oh, I would love the circle cutter. Yes. You got, you got it, it, camera. You are a winner of the circle cutter. So congratulations. That All right. Awesome. Let me do this. Our last winner of today is, give me just a minute here. We will find somebody from the Grace platform. Again, just a quick shout out as we finish. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, remember, I put that little bit of a challenge out that if you, what could you do something small today? What would be something small that you could pre present? Uh, and it's not necessarily going and buying a gift, but it might be a phone call. It might be uh, a thank you to somebody. You know, if you're out and around and maybe if you're shopping, just tell someone, hi, Merry Christmas. I think it's a great yeah. thing. Everybody would like that. Um, if you're home, maybe it's a call to a grandchild, a granddaughter. Maybe it's a call to your grandmother, your mom. Just something nice to brighten somebody's day. It's always nice. To get that think about that. that um, if you don't have your tree up, I wish you well in getting your trees up. That would be fun. Yeah. Um, and if you wanted something big, I'm hoping you're going to get something big in your stocking. And if you wanted something small. Or if you already have something big, we got a lot of great small things that you can add. So a lot of fun things. We have amazing thread. If you've not ever bought finesse thread, that's my shout out. Put that in your stocking. Colors. Awesome, awesome thread. All right. So, okay. So here's our last winner, what we're going to be doing. And the winner is, I'm, I'm writing it. Thanks for your patience. Be patient. here with me. A-U-T. All right. Okay, give me one minute. Thanks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to get this right. I would not not want to put this up. Got to get it all correct. A U T U. Oh, there we go. Now it is right. So this is from the Grace platform, and we're going to say congratulations to Autumn Olson. Uh, Autumn, if you're with us, you're going to need to email Melinda, M E L I N D A. So A U T U M N O L E S E N Olson. So congratulations, Autumn Olson. You're also a winner of the, uh, quilters combo and the circle cutter. And Cody, what I like to do here as we're finishing off, what are some of the last words you might like to share with all of our quilters that joined us today? Anything you'd like to share with them? Uh, as I just we kind of take off and we leave them. I just want to start with Merry Christmas. I'm just really excited for all of you and to have, be able to share these holidays with everyone, be able to be a part of this experience that you guys are all going through. And I just really am grateful for the opportunity to be able to talk with you and be able to share some of my time because I do think it's just wonderful to interact and be able to ex talk with all of you and be able to share some of what I do and why I'm so passionate about our products because I just think they're so great and so fun. And I feel like when you guys get them in your homes or your houses or wherever you're using them, it really enlightens me and really just, I'm like, oh man, this is really cool. I get to be a part of this and help you guys create all the wonderful things that you guys do. Uh, that is so true. I know when you start talking about your mom's experiencing opening it, you get pretty involved, right? Because, yeah. because Cody's life is, he's in charge of all of it engineering. So literally anything that you touch from Grace Company has come from Cody's team. Like literally that's the deal. So He's very passionate about making sure that they are what they need to be for you. 
So Cody, thanks for being with me today. It's been fun having you on here. Thank you, Quilters. Thanks for joining probably around the globe and being with us today. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow's our big day. We've got a bunch giving away, both for those that are live streaming and for those who have registered. So if you haven't registered, reach out, register at our events platform, uh, like, like, and subscribe, follow us. We've got a lot going on and we have Tuesdays with Grace and we have big events coming up in the first quarter and we'll see a lot more. So we're going to be at shows and so many other things. So thanks for being with us today. We look forward to it and we'll see you tomorrow. So thanks.